Hey fellow Garage Golfers, Rolla here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Today, we have our on-air talent, Danny, here. We had some inquiries from people that wanted to see the Unicor ball flight versus the sky check like we did on a previous video. But this time, for ball speeds over 160 miles per hour, unfortunately, I can't do that. So we had to bring in Danny, get some data to you guys. Let's test it out, see what we're looking at. Stay tuned and check it out. Okay, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide reviews on golf equipment, golf simulator equipment, and information on pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change the screen now. We'll have Danny in the simulator, and what we're gonna do is hit some driver shots, specifically driver only for this video, just so we can show you ball speeds over 160 miles per hour. If you saw my previous video on the ball flight and the data between the two, my uh, ball speed was closer to about 130, so we're gonna get a little bit higher ball speed. Uh, we had a lot of requests for this, basically because we wanna see how the SkyTrack reacts in regards to higher ball speeds, because we've always heard some things about the SkyTrack in regards to higher ball speeds and how it reads. And uh, we're gonna compare that side by side with the Unicor system to see what kind of input we get. So let's go ahead and set it up. We'll have Danny hit five shots with the driver. After each shot, we'll go ahead and review the data with you on the screen, let you know what we've been seeing, and uh, take a look at it further from there. All right, so here you see on the screen, right above me, you're gonna see the data for the SkyTrek, and right over here, you're gonna see the data for the Unicor. After each shot, we'll go ahead and go over the numbers with you and see what we're looking at. Okay, so we had a good strike there, both of them right down the middle. 263.8 carry with the Unicor system, 259 carry with the SkyTrek. Ball speed, 162.6 with Unicor, and 159 with the Skytrek. So, 275 total distance with the Skytrek, 273.2 with the Unicor, and pretty close in regards to total overall carry. So, that's good. So, that's a good first step as far as taking a look at those numbers. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and hit about four more and take a look at them and see how we're looking. Okay, we hooked one on that one. 230 carry versus 206 carry, 163 ball speed versus 168.4 with the Unicor. So we'll see if we'll leave that shot in or not. That one was not a very good strike, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that in the end and see if we keep it in the final numbers or not. Okay, another good strike right down the middle. Got a fade pretty much on both of them. 265.8 carry with the Unicor. 277 with the Skytrek. So now we saw a little bit higher carry with the Skytrek than the Unicor. 167.5 ball speed with the Unicor. We had 166 with the Skytrek. So measuring pretty identical between the two. Let's look at some other numbers. Uh, let's look at the total backspin. 3490 on the Unicor. 3449 on the Skytrek. So... I would say so far the Skytrack's holding its own in comparison to Unicor in regards to numbers with higher ball speed. But let's keep on going. Okay, so Danny said he's going to hit a little draw, but he went ahead and hit a little duck hook instead, which is fine. Good to get all different types of shots. 161.7 ball speed with Unicor, 157 with the Skytrack. We had a total carry of 257.7 with the Unicor. And we had a total carry of 234 with the Skytrack. So we're talking 23 yards difference in the carry there, where we have the ball speed that's very identical, 157 versus 161.7. Uh, total backspin, 2072 with Skytrack, and 1924 with the Unicor. So the numbers are pretty similar between the two, other than the total carry distance, which is most important, I think, for this testing. So let's get about three more shots in, and we'll show you the total numbers in the end. All right, so another good strike down the middle. We got a total carry of 262 with the Unicor, 258 with the Skytrack. 
Total distance, 269.8 with Unicor, 272 with Skytrack. Let's take a look at the launch angle on the Skytrack, 8 degrees. Launch angle on the Unicor is 6.9 degrees. So, club speed 110 versus club speed with the Unicor of, what are we looking at there? 108.5. All right, so... Similar numbers again. See, we're seeing similar ball flights as well on both shots. So a uh, couple more shots. Take a look. All right, so now Danny's going to hit a draw on this shot, or try to anyways. And let's see um, if we're seeing any difference between a draw and a fade. We saw a fade a little bit earlier, so let's see a true draw and see if the data is similar in regards to both shots on both systems. Not a draw, by the way. <laughs> okay, so now we got a good draw. It's reading as a draw on both. 264.8 on Unicor, 247 on the Skytrack. Launch angle on the Unicor is 6 degrees. Launch angle on the Skytrack, 7 degrees. Backspin, 2714 on the Skytrack. Backspin, of 2737 on the Unicor. So just for testing purposes, what we might be noticing a little bit is when we hit a draw on the Unicor, the numbers tend to be a bigger discrepancy on the Skytrack as far as what we're seeing. So again, 264.8 versus 247. So that's almost 20 yards difference when you hit a draw. Let's try to hit one more draw and see if those numbers are gonna be as far off as we saw in this shot or if they're gonna be a little bit closer together. Okay, so we got another draw here. Good shot. 254.4, 244 with the Skytrack as far as carry. Backspin, 3343 with the Unicor, 3373 with the Skytrack, so very similar. Total distance, 258 versus 264.6. Club head speed with the Skytrack, 109. Club head speed with the Unicor, 106.9. So. Again, with the draw, we're seeing a little bit more discrepancy, but we're, this time we're only looking at a difference of about 10 yards uh, short with the Skytrack. We're going to hit one more shot, try to hit a solid shot right down the middle, not a fade or draw, see if we can get one of those in, and uh, see if we can get those numbers a little bit closer. But I'm curious if the Skytrack's reading it may be a little bit different on a draw than it would be on just a straight shot. So one more shot for you, and we'll see how that comes out. All right, so pretty straight shot, a little bit left of the target line. 264.8, 252 with the Skytrack. Club head speed 106 with Unicor, 109 with Skytrack. Ball speed 159 with Skytrack, 160.8 with Unicor. So again, a little bit short on the Skytrack with the driver. Um, and if you saw my other video with the irons, you saw that the rollout with the irons on the Skytrack was a lot lot bigger distance as far as what we saw than what we see with the Unicor. But here we're seeing a lot larger carry distance with the Unicor with a faster swing speed than what we're seeing with the Skytrack. So a little bit interesting, obviously. Wanted to show you some of that at home. Uh, let's take a look at the final numbers and see how they came out. All right, so let's look at the final numbers. Uh, and again, we wanted to kind of show you this from a little bit faster ball speed perspective. You're going to see 11 shots on the Skytrack. You're only going to see 10 on the Unicor screen. We actually did hit 11 on Unicor, but they still haven't quite done the update to allow you to scroll up or down to go through all your shots. So that's something I think we need to get going uh, as soon as possible. Uh, you can do it on the Ignite software, but on the Succeed, obviously, I'd like to be able to go through the driving range and see all the shots. But let's go ahead and go over that data real quick. Um, so we had average ball speed, 158 with Skytrack. Average ball speed with the Unicor system, 162.8. So about four yards of difference. Launch angle average 6.4. With the Unicor, our launch angle average 6.0. Uh, total backspin with the, with the Skytrack, 3025. Total backspin with the Unicor is going to be 2972. And let's see what else is going to be important for us to take a look at. Launch angle obviously is going to be important, I feel. So launch angle, let's see. Launch angle is 6.4 with Skytrack. 
launch angle with the Unicor is 6.0. So very similar numbers. Um, the biggest difference is carry 248.5 with Unicor. And with the Skytrek, we are looking at a total carry of 239. So sorry, the numbers are kind of small on my screen. But uh, we're seeing, obviously, a longer carry distance. And as far as total, total distance, we're not going to look at that too much just because the roll-ups are going to be a little bit different between the two. Okay, then lastly, uh, club speed, we had 109 on the Skytrek, 111.6 on the Unicor. So it's reading a little bit uh, faster ball speed. It's reading, obviously, a longer carry with the Unicor system. And again, we're comparing a unit that's six to $8,000 versus a unit that's around 1,700. But I think the Skytrek pretty much held its own in regards to the testing on the higher ball speed. Um, you're gonna obviously see a, a little bit different discrepancy though in the total carry distance. Uh, sometimes as much as 20 yards, but you know for something that costs one-fourth of the price of the Unicor system Overall, I think it did a pretty good job But I wanted to get you guys this, this video at home for people that do have faster swing speeds uh, And it's something I've always wanted to test with the Skytrek as well So I'm glad we we're able to get that numbers to you today Let me know if there's something that we didn't cover or something else you'd like to see But this was just mainly from a faster ball speed perspective and uh, what you guys wanted to see at home all right, thanks again for hanging out with this video. Let us know what you thought at home about the video we did today in regards to the faster ball speeds. Not much faster ball speeds, by the way. Mm -hmm. so maybe hit the gym a little bit. Oh, my God. By the way, um, look how white my ankles are. Y'all see that at home? Yeah. Maybe that's just a camera thing. No. Anyways, uh, I'll be gone to Florida for a couple weeks, but I wanted to do a quick video before we left, and hopefully when I get back, these white ankles won't be so white. I'm only half white, by the way, but my ankles are fully white, obviously, as you can see. So if you guys liked our video, please give us a big thumbs up. We greatly appreciate that. And if you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like the one that you saw here today. And please click the bell notification icon so you can get the video the second that we release it. Also, if you have not yet done so as well, please join our Facebook group as you see down there by Danny's feet in this area. What you waiting for? That's where we go and we talk to everyone that watches our videos. Uh, you can come up to us obviously and, and message us directly. We can answer any questions, any videos that you'd like to see as well. And it's a great place for you guys to communicate with each other uh, in regards to different products and testing ideas. So we're really enjoying the Facebook group. If you like what you see here in the simulator and there's something that we can do to help you, uh, just keep in mind at home you can start something like this for actually relatively inexpensive. Something like a Skytrack that's a great product and just a net. That's all you initially need and that's how I got started. And Danny's been coming over and help, helping me with that process as I kind of graduated throughout the whole thing over time. So if you guys are interested in any information on any golf products, please email me at the email address below. Look down here. I'd love to take care of you guys. I don't sell anything directly, but we just find the best prices for you. And if you do buy from one of our links eventually, it does help out the channel. So we greatly appreciate that. As always, we really had a great time with you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us, and keep on golfing. Hey, next time we do a video, can you put some tanning lotion on those feet? It's just, just bad. Maybe I'll just wear socks, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>